Hi there, it's Lindy from I Do Ceremonies. Thank you so much for stopping by my website and indeed for watching this wee video. I thought I would start by kind of telling you a wee bit about myself, but rather than me just blow my own trumpet, I thought I would ask some of the people that know me best what they would say if I asked them to describe me. So I started off with my wee grandson, Lockie, who's five, and he, I said, if you could give Nanny three words that would, um, that would describe what Nanny's like, what would you say? And so he said that I'm old and have a big tummy, which wasn't really the vibe I was going for, believe it or not. So then I decided to ask people that have known me for most of my life, my two best friends that I grew up with down in Ayrshire, Diane and Alison, and they pretty much said that I'm half my tatty, or they said you're half your tatty. Now, in Ayrshire, the phrase half your tatty is a, a term of endearment. It means you're amazing. You are so gorgeous and uh, and funny and witty and smart. <laughs> no, it doesn't, it doesn't mean any of those things. It means you're a bit mad. But you know what? I'll take that because hopefully what they mean by that is that I don't take myself or life too seriously. However, I do take ceremony very, very seriously. And so even though your ceremony can have loads of fun and laughter in it, and if you watch some of my uh, ceremony videos, the ones that have been live streamed or recorded or whatever, they can often seem like a bit like stand-up comedy, but they're not because the only way that I can shape your ceremony with human included or inject human into your ceremony is because I know you or whatever couple I'm working with fully get that what is at the heart of their ceremony is something so profound and and transformative. I mean, this idea that you're committing your life to another for eternity, it's huge. And and I and I get that. And I love love. I love everything about love. And so I get the the importance of that commitment and what that means to step into ceremony and betroth your life to another. But of course, there are very few, if any, relationships that don't have humour in them. Most of the couples I work with, when they're describing their story, it's all about how they made each other laugh and they make each other laugh every single day. Well, why shouldn't that be in your ceremony? Those people who say ceremony, there's no room in ceremony for humour, they're just no getting what life is about. And this idea of the sacred smile, which is an altogether different conversation. But of course your ceremony can have humour in it, of course your guests can be smiling and they can be laughing, but we know that that's underpinned by this, uh, this sense of something very special something very profound even sacred happening within your ceremony so that's my style as a celebrant yes there's usually lots of fun but that is balanced out with reverence and meaning and depth so that's my that's what I try to bring to my ceremonies I'm based here in Perthshire a beautiful wee village of Abernethy in Perthshire where I live alone with my two cats, <laughs> Ayla and Iona, I'm no, turning into an old cat lady, and, um, and my two big grandsons are just up the road in the village there. So I'm very privileged because I get to live ceremony almost every single day, whether it's wedding ceremonies, vow renewal ceremonies, baby namings, funeral ceremonies. I, my whole life is about ceremony and I love it. I love holding space for people to come together and transition through this event, this change that's happening in their lives. So that's me. Uh, I would love to hear and to know a bit about you. And so if you are, have got a ceremony in the planning and you'd like to have a wee chat with me about if we could work together, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Lindy at idoceremonies.co.uk or my phone number's all over the website. Just get in touch and let's have a blather.
Okay, beautiful.